Namo Buddhaya, dear Dhamma family. There is a very interesting teaching given by the Buddha with regards to husband and wives. Nakulapita, Nakulamata is a very famous couple that appears in a few places in the Nikayas. This couple, husband and wife, were married for many years. And they asked the Buddha how they could be together, how they remain together in the future and even in future lives. It's a very interesting question. To me, that question extends beyond even husband and wife, but to friends, to the Dhamma family that we are all together, practicing together, cultivating together, to our extended families. How can we be together in the coming future, distant future, and even in future lives? From Buddha's wisdom, I read an extract taken from Anguttara Nikaya 453. Both husband and wife are faithful and bountiful, restrained and living by Dhamma. Together, the wife and husband have kind words for one another. They will have abundant riches and live together easily. Their foes are depressed with these two because they have the same virtues, having both lived by the Dhamma, having the same virtue and vows, they rejoice in pleasures obtained in the realms of divine beings. Dear Dhamma family, for those of you, both husband and wife, practicing together the Buddha's Dhamma, you are truly blessed. And you've probably been together in the past as well. And now, the Buddha said, as long as you have these four things, you will create the condition for you to remain together as a happily married couple in this life, near future, distant future, and even in future lives. And what are these four things? The Buddha said, you must have the same sadha, the same confidence in the Buddha Dharma Sangha, the same experiential confidence, not blind faith, but confidence, because you know that it is true. It is not a leap into the unknown. It is not believing in a promise. It is not believing in a prayer. It is not believing in an afterlife, but it is everyday living that you have seen for yourself with confidence that the Buddha's teachings are true. So you must have the same sadha. For lack of a better word, we often say the same faith. But faith is a very poor translation of the word sadha. You must have the same sila, the same ethics and virtues. Both of you together keeping the five precepts if you are lay people. That is good. In fact, the Buddha had said in many occasions that the mere keeping of the five precepts is almost already a sure path to a better realm. You must have the same chaga, the same generosity. Both of you willing to help, to donate, to support those who need it. And the same panya the same degree of wisdom. So I repeat four things. The same sada or confidence, the same sila, virtues, ethics, the same chaga, generosity in time, skills, in your whatever you can afford to help, to support, and in your wisdom. When you have these four things, the Buddha said, you are assured that you have set the conditions for you to be together in the future. I look at it beyond the family, to our support group, to our close Dhamma friends. Do we walk this path 
together sharing the same sada, sila, chala, panya? If we do, then you can be quite assured that in the future, we will be together again supporting each other until the day when we are awakened. I think this is something very important because Kayana mitas, or good or noble spiritual friends, the Buddha had repeatedly said, is the whole of the spiritual life. We need Kayana mitas, for these Kayana mitas encourage us, help us, walk with us along this Eightfold Path. Remember the Four Noble Truths are the Four Noble Tasks. They are things to do not things to be put on a pedestal to be worshipped. So the Four Noble Truth tells us of tasks that we need to do. And the Eightfold Path is best walked together with husband and wife, with friends. And of course, the most important Kalyanamita is the Buddha himself. He said he is our best friend because he is the one who has taught us how to walk this path. He's the one who has shown us the way. Thank you. Mm -hmm.